Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here. And even though I've been covering mostly RPGs as of late, I haven't lost my love for first-person shooters. I've tracked down the latest Borderlands 3 news, killed it, looted it, and brought it back to you. Let's begin. Just days away from their live gameplay reveal event, Gearbox posted a clip of gameplay a bit too soon before realizing what had happened and yanking it down. The 26 seconds of footage you're seeing on your screen now gave us some new information. A report from Variety points out that Loot has a new Gear Score-esque rating along with handling stats. Challenges are also making a welcomed return. Some weapons will also be able to change their damage type on the fly. It also shows us an example of rare in-game chest events that award loot to Twitch viewers. More on that in a bit. In another trailer, we got a glimpse of Amara's skill trees, with finer detail for one of them. The first two are called Brawl and Fist of the Elements. The third and more detailed is Mystical Assault. The top item on the tree is known as Phase Cast, which sends out an astral projection that deals damage to enemies as it runs in a single direction. We also get a glimpse of the passive ability called Do Harm, which gives Amara a stack of Rush, a resource consumed in order to activate action skills. Violent Tapestry, another ability, gives you a buff to elemental effect chance. A quick shout out for fans still playing Borderlands 2, pause the video now and cash in on these shift codes before they expire, as they were tweeted out from the official Borderlands 3 account just days ago. Go get that loot. While a stir was caused when Borderlands 3 was announced as an Epic Game Store exclusive, it doesn't seem like that's changing as publisher 2K has made a seemingly final decision on the matter, one that Randy Pitchford allegedly had no say in. But on the flip side, in a partnership that fans may actually enjoy, the Echo Cast Twitch extension will be moving forward. Starting on Wednesday, the 1st of May, fans who have linked their Shift account to their Twitch account can score some loot while watching their favorite streamers in the aforementioned Rare Chest event. You'll also be able to check out your favorite streamers' loadout and build. The frequency of these drops remains to be seen, as well as just how many pieces of loot will be given per chest, but we won't have to wait long to find out. That's it for this quick news roundup, but make sure to check back as the proper gameplay reveal is upon us and you can bet I'll be boiling it down for you all over again. And make sure to sub for more coverage of games like Cyberpunk 2077. And as always, thanks for watching guys.